your feet stop moving, stop shooting your gun. You're way too close, Airborne. What's up guys, long time no see. Uh, I got a lot of requests to show what, what my gun is, my, my rifle and how I have it configured. So uh, yeah, this is for you guys, the ones that asked for it. Uh, before we get started, the previous video I had where I showed uh, doing buddy drills or whatnot, uh, one guy asked like, hey, are you in California? I'm like, yeah, I'm in California because I was, you know, dropping mags or whatnot. So uh, to clarify that real quick, I was running featureless for the class, all right? So I wasn't doing nothing illegal. I was running featureless with the mags that I had. All right, so, uh, all right, so let's go from front to back. This is my Daniel Defense. Uh, look at that light. It's fucking still, I still haven't cleaned this thing. It's been like two months now. I still haven't fucking cleaned this thing. But yeah, it's, it's a fucking wreck. I'll do a lot of up close shots so that you know exactly what's going on. But yeah, uh, alright, let's start from the front here. First, we have a Battle Comp 1.5. I had it pinned and welded by Rainier Arms. Yeah, Rainier Arms. Uh, I didn't like the standard flash hider, and plus, I couldn't go featureless if I had a flash hider, so went with the Battle Comp. Uh, next, I got the Surefire M952V. The vampire light with the white light and IR. Uh, that is sitting on a Haley Strategic, the mill spec mount. On front, I have a Troy Battle Sight, the standard M4 style, not the HK. Also, I have for the Surefire, I have the pressure switch. What is that? I forgot the, the code of it, but it's the one with the pressure switch right here and the constant on it's strange how as dirty as the light is it's still shining through it all right uh the grip panels i have here are standard just the daniel defense what it came with let me take this off my sling attachment point here it's a magpul qd sling attachment point right there uh, this thing. The sling that I'm using is the Magpul sling, the one that you got to build from scratch. I believe it's called the MS1, MS4. Excuse me, it's the MS4, the padded one. Uh, and this is the Magpul QD attachment here. It's the one that's a quick release, not the push button. It's the push pull. Here we have. The Tango Down, or not the Tango Down, the Aimpoint T1, the old school one, with the Tango Down bikini cover. And it's sitting on a LaRue, the LaRue Tall Mount. Here's the bikini cover. And it's sitting on the LaRue Tall Mount. Quick disconnect deal. Uh, next, we got on the rear side another. Troy Battle Sight, typical fare. And my charging handle is the BCM Ambi, where it has it on both sides. The buttstock is typical fare, it's the standard Daniel Defense buttstock. Uh, but I opted to use the bigger butt pad because I like how it rounds into my shoulder a lot better. Uh, the rear plate here, this came with the rifle, so nothing special about that. I got rid of the Daniel Defense grips, they were just way too skinny, so I went back to the tried and true Mag Magpul Mo, the rubber one, the Mo Plus. The trigger guard is a standard Magpul trigger guard. Uh, put an ambidextrous safety switch on here. And I have the ALG Defense Trigger, the Milspec ACT Trigger, I believe, where it's nickel boron with nickel Teflon. And, yeah, that's about it. Great gun. 
Daniel Defense DD. It's a Daniel Defense M4A1. And uh, yeah, I love it. I, I don't care about those lightweight hand guards that other people have. I just like quad rails, quad rail master race, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, huge lockup. Uh, the only jams I had with this gun during the class were, there were jams a jam no matter what it is. There's no real excuse, but I was able to narrow it down to the magazines. I was using the steel crappy magazines and shooting wolf ammo. It just doesn't work too well sometimes. But I had 100% functionality with the Magpul mags. So yeah, that's my rifle. Hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys later. All right.